Welcome to Eucanic. Today here in Eucanic, we have a 2015 Ford Focus on this Ford Focus. It's got the 2.0 liter motor in it, non-turbo, and um, we have our check engine light on. And so we have an OBD2 scanner hooked up to the vehicle, and we're going to read the codes and, and see what it happens to be. So we have uh, the option to select the smart VIN, so we'll do that. Uh, pick the year. Now, of course, we've already picked the, the vehicle, which is a Ford. And then we're going to go through the control modules instead of scanning the whole system. Pick the control module. We're going to read the codes. Um, we have the key on, but the engine is off, so we're going to select that option and hit yes. Now it's reading the vehicle's um, engine codes from the PCM. So we have the P0443, and that's the Evaporative Emission System Purge Control Valve A Circuit, right? So we will find that purge valve, control valve, and be able to locate it and replace it if needs be. Now the, uh, the purge valves, they are part of the emissions, and it, it runs um, vacuum pressure back to the fuel tank, so if they do go bad, um, sometimes you will, of course, you're going to get worse fuel mileage and also you can have some issues when you go to fuel up your vehicle that you may uh, take a lot to start it and whatnot. So it's something you would want to replace a little sooner than later and not just continue to go on it. So this purge valve is located right down here and when you purchase it, it's all one, the piping that goes back to here and it goes right on past the, um, the throttle body right into the intake manifold. So we'll go over how to replace it. Um, and so first, this is all just vacuum line stuff. It's not really a, we can move it a little bit out of the way. Now we can squeeze this connector here and be able to pull that away and then just kind of set that to the side. To give us better access, I'm going to undo this vacuum line here too that goes to the um, back. And you just need to take that clamp and you pull it to the side there. And then we can also move that up out of the way. We'll just go ahead and undo the top side here. And w w the way these release is you just pull those tabs to the side and then it will pull out. And so we'll set that aside. We have that kind of out of the way. And now we have the electric connector that's down here to be able to unclip and pull that out. And then we have one clip on the back and one clip that's down in here. So we'll remove this boot here that goes to the, uh, um, the intake air box and to the um, throttle body. So we have a, a seven millimeter on the bottom to loosen that clamp up, band clamp, as well as it was seven up top. So now, you could also take out the air box if you want, but we don't really need to. There we go. So we had that resistance on it and the grip. So now that gives us better access to be able to reach down in here to undo this connector. Okay, so we got that one done. Then we have a little rubber grommet that's holding this on over here. Get that up and out of the way. And then we have the connector on the back. So the way these clamps work is you gotta pull the one out a little bit and then being able to depress. So that's the removal of the whole purge valve mechanism. 
And these clamps are a dual clamp that clamp on the front and the back. So let's try to get it to. So you need to, the, the square side, you need to just pull it back a little bit and then you depress that right there and that's the way you get it to unlock and then pull off. And so we have our perch valve um, solenoid sensor here and the air flow should only go one way through the back. So you can check it by if you try to push air through this side and it stops and it's pressure, holds pressure, then the valve would still be good. If your pressure doesn't hold, then the valve has definitely gone bad because the diaphragm inside here has gone bad. So we would just get a whole new one of these. It's all the whole unit. And then be able to run it back down in there through the lines there. Press it in, and then when you hear that click, and then you can pull the other side to lock that in. Connect that, and then same on this top one. Like I said, you press it down, you're gonna hear it click, and then be able to press the clamp in and lock that into place. And then reconnect the, uh, we've got the rubber grommet on the bracket here. Connect our electric connector, and then be able to put our little intake piece back on, lining it up the way it came off. Line those up, you would tighten up those two. This one just presses on. And then we have that larger vacuum pipe. And it does have an air, it tells us which side goes to the valve cover. And again, you just pull those in, they'll make a click noise and they're installed. So now that we've replaced that purge valve, we'll go ahead and clear the code. And we're good. So that was a replacement of your purge valve on your 2015 Ford Focus. Run your vehicle and make sure that that doesn't come back on. If it does, um, then you might have a leak somewhere else down the line that you would need to diagnose and fix. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.